technology reviewers. How are you guys? I come back with an answer to you. So I sent to the service center the View Sony PX748. For those of you who don't know the specifications, really quick, it has 4000 lux, which is pretty, very bright, impressively bright. And it has HDR, it has 240 Hz for gaming, the ultra mode input in the menu. And uh, this projector, I got to say, it's uh, the clearest projectors uh, on the market. Um, and it has, this is the catch guys, oh, the optical zoom 1.3 optical, not digital. If you want to see more, I recommend you to watch the full review. It's 15 or 20 hours testing this projector for you guys, which we published uh, a couple of months ago or so. And the projector was awesome, but it uh, missed the 3D function the 3D button that you see on the remote control, I told you then, I telling you now that uh, the problem is solved. I sent it to the service center, they made a firmware update and the 3D button is working. Not the 3D button, you will find into the menu the 3D function for watching 3D movies. The problem was that the 3D option was turned off by the factory. I don't know exactly on what motive they... Uh, uh, turn it off or dis uh, temporarily disable it and uh, the service center reactivated. I was thinking something was not right because the pro this projector uses the latest DLP Texas instruments that it's a 3D. Where you will see the DLP Texas instruments on a projector, that projector will support 3D. Okay, this is the first thing. The 3D, it's working. It's like all other projectors. It dims a little bit the light. You got to put the your uh, notebook or PC into the full HD resolution and then when you feed uh, a 3D content uh, ISO file to the power DVD especially if 70 and 18 be careful that the latest power DVD uh, for those of you who ask me don't work the 90 I think it doesn't work in power DVD 20 it doesn't work the 3D function and uh, I think it's working also, I, I think, I'm not sure, the ISO file to drag it directly into the pot player. The pot player has some functions for the 3D, but I'm not sure if the ISO file where you drag it to the pot player will work. So use uh, with confidence uh, Power DVD 1780 and I think think 19. So let's continue with the firmware update. What I have noticed is that the um, HDR functions, it's a little bit dimmed. The light, it's a little bit dimmed. It's not that uh, like I was uh, expected to remain uh, different from the version 1.0. Now, after the firmware update, it's the version 1.1 1 or 0 1 and sincerely I don't like that the ViewSonic dimmed the light from the HDR because all the 4K movies are HDR now so typically you will watch in your video in a 4K and you will want to watch in HDR you will switch from the Windows uh, and put the mode HDR immediately when you activate it from Windows that mode uh, you will see when the projector uh, searches for the source again you will see that it's not uh, the light as you expected it's it's like from normal you will switch it to echo so this is the difference so i wish to view sonic to make another firmware update and fix this problem um, and um, another thing that ViewSonic advertised, and I was happy about this procedure, is a procedure for making yourself the firmware update. The procedure, it's uh, advertised on their website. And uh, sincerely, um, I was a little bit disappointed when uh, the service center said to me, and ViewSonic said to me, to send the projector to them. I told them that it's advertised to make yourself the update. Uh, user-friendly home update and they told me that the first procedure is uh, to send it to the service center. Well, ViewSonic, I hope the next firmware you will put it on your website because I don't see that it's very difficult to make 
an auto update of course you got to make a package to auto update this projector but connecting and follow the exactly rules we have updated hundreds and hundreds of electronics and we didn't have any problem if you explain to the people and to your clients the procedure step by step i don't see any problem updating a product of yours another thing that i saw the third thing i saw um, into this uh, firmware update is that um, the pixel shift technology you can sense it and be careful guys it's into the menu if you want to uh, switch off the pixel shift the pixel shift makes this 4k using full hd chip something like this in the very very short version when the projector starts you will sense the pixel shift is audible you can hear it very well when you turn off the pixel shift is silent mode something like this in the menu of the view sonic silent mode turns off the pixel shift but the silent modes put your projector into 1080p only 1080p if you want 4k you got to activate pixel shift and that it's uh, you are supposed to switch off the uh, silent mode and um, i see that the pixel shift starts when the projector starts it has a noise uh, it, it um, it's like from low noise it goes to the highest pitch of this uh, pixel shift technology until it stabilizes the sound and um, that's it the pixel shift works it, it doesn't have any problem i only see this difference uh, comparing with the firmware 1.0 it's not a big deal when the projector will um, um, will get hit up or when the projector will reach the optimal um, I don't know heating of the lens or exactly the temperature for uh, giving you the optimal image well uh, it will stabilize that sound the third differences that I noticed guys is that the projector will give you the full image light uh, after one minute and a half or something or two minutes maybe uh, when into the old firmware the projector give you um, more rapidly that light I think the ViewSonic and for me it's not a problem uh, ViewSonic let the projector to ignite more slowly to heat up his lamp more slowly I think it's the heating inside and uh, this kind of thing uh, that uh, ViewSonic wanted to protect your lamp more and you know um, if you force directly the lamp it will hold you a little less in time if you are turning it on slowly to reach that maximum point to reach that optimal point of the lamp it will hold you uh, more in time it will give you that uh, uh, 4000 hour in normal mode 15000 hour 2000 uh, 20000 hours in the echo echo super plus you know what i'm saying and uh, i think this is a good thing for the view sony so this is a good thing for your projector to less in time i'm reaching to the view sony company to send us a new product if they make a new projector to promote uh, because we uh, thought that this model uh, px748 it's a great product we think that it's a good product uh, it has a little bit of cons but we found a lot a lot of pros guys and this is what i recommend you to watch the entire review of the view sonic so um, i hope also view sonic will uh, hear about making a new firmware and uh, uh, fixing that HDR the light of the HDR um, I think you can let the user choose from the normal to the put the dynamic you can cut the light of uh, in the dynamic or in the echo if a user wants to take advantage of that 4000 hours of the lamp uh, put the HDR into the full mode this is what I'm referring guys I hope you like this news if you have questions guys or advices comment below in the box Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you guys. Bye.